Now, the fact that this uh, exists in our universe immediately tells us something extremely important. And let me illustrate that with the next slide. Imagine that you were at the top of the Seattle Space Needle and you were looking at vehicles driving away from the city. And imagine for the sake of uh, discussion that these vehicles all obey Hubble law. That means that their velocity is going to be some constant times their distance. That's what we saw on the previous chart in Hubble's law. So if the minivan is 250 miles from the city going 25 miles an hour, and the sports car is going to obey Hubble's law, if it's twice as far away, it has to be going twice as fast. That's what we observe in our universe. Okay, so think about what this looked like 10 hours ago. The minivan in 10 hours moves 250 miles, so 10 hours ago it would have been at the base of the Space Needle. The sports car in 10 hours moves 500 miles, so 10 hours ago it would also have been in the parking lot of the Space Needle. And that means that every car on the road, if it obeys Hubble's law, is going to be at the base of the Space Needle 10 hours ago. So, what does this say about the universe? If all the galaxies in the universe are obeying Hubble's law, as we observe experimentally that they do, then that means all the galaxies in the universe were in one place at one time, at some distant moment in the past, and that's the moment we call the Big Bang. 